are you going to be able to wean off of your GLP-1 medications at the end of your weight loss journey? Let's talk about it. Okay, so look, the argument that we are not going to be able to wean off these meds, that you need to take them, stems from a lot of factors, right? Obesity is a chronic disease. One side of the argument, right? It's, it's a chronic disease. So you wouldn't tell somebody who's now achieved a healthy blood pressure through medication to all of a sudden stop their medication. Now that makes a lot of sense when you're thinking about just that statement, but we're gonna get to the other side of this here in a second. But on the other side, we are just beginning to understand this drug and what it really means to rewire the brain, right? Because that's what these medications are doing is they're having direct effect on the main regulatory centers, the hypothalamus, which has far sweeping, generally good effects in terms of our health and the way we approach food, but we don't fully understand that yet. So my response has always been this to the statement, why would you tell a patient to stop a blood pressure medication once they've achieved normalized blood pressure? Well, why would you take a medication if you no longer need to take the medication? So that does not necessarily directly address that because simply stated, if all you did was take the medication and lower blood pressure, then yes, if you stop the medication, the blood pressure rise. The same thing can be said about diabetes medication. The same thing will be said about these weight loss medications. That could be said about any medication. If you just take the medication, you are short-term handling symptoms. But if you can simultaneously address the underlying mechanisms that drive the symptoms that you are medicating, that's where the magic happens and that's what's possible. Look at diabetes, for example. We act and continue to act like it's a completely irreversible disease, yet the American Diabetes Association in 2019 released their criteria for revision of diabetes and you can find it on their website. So it's no different with obesity when you consider the fact that obesity and diabetes come from the same thing, insulin resistance, guys. So look, we don't have enough data. We can't make claims that this is and neither am I making this claim, but what I can tell you is this is what we specialize in. I just published my book on this topic, Fast, Feast, and Flourish, the comprehensive guide towards utilizing these medications. We've been doing it on patients for the past several years, and we have an online course and a group community for freaking $10 a month, which is extremely uh, beneficial for somebody who's maybe on their own, doesn't have the guidance, simply being prescribed as medication and looking for support. If you guys wanna learn more about how we approach this, click that profile icon, scroll to the top, and as always, guys, stay healthy out there.